Okay, so Masters of Flip, season two. How does it feel, uh, you know, kicking off a second season? Oh my goodness. It feels exhausting. <laughs> it feels We're really tired, great. we need a vacation. <laughs> no, it feels great. Yeah. And I think we have, uh, we have quite a few bigger projects that people are gonna love. So what can viewers expect with the show this season? Well, you know, a lot more of the same. We are fixing up houses um, that are pretty darn ugly to begin with. Some of them are duplexes that we're converting. There's actually one that we're not um, adding on anything to. It's just a tiny little house. It's a secret. I know, I know. I know, but it's going to be so good. Um, <laughs> so I think, you know, Dave definitely throws more dirty things at me when we're, walk we're walking through the um, houses to view them. He chases me with more spiders and bugs. Not really crazy about that, but you know. That's why I do it. Exactly. Because, yeah. yeah, just to get a rise out of me. Yeah, that's love. I want to find something that's just straightforward. I, have we ever done that? Though? No, that's why I'm dreaming right now and trying to find that perfect renovation where we can literally that's just like walk finding in and the walk perfect out. spouse. You're not gonna you're actually not gonna find them. Can say that again. And say you can say that twice again. <laughs> you both had a great success with uh, with music, performing, singing, writing songs. Can you tell me about how you both met in Nashville as Canadians? It was fantastic. We were both, uh, of course, no children. Uh, no expectations to really have to work. <laughs> we met our, for my, my first day in Nashville together and we fell in love, which is kind of weird and, and, and a little bit like alarming to think everybody around us because I got a record deal right away and my managers were like, oh my gosh, who's this guy you've fallen in love with? It's not really true love. It well, they thought I was, I was hitching my wagon to Yeah, you. that's right. And then my parents were like, are you kidding me? You can't possibly be in love with the first guy that you met in Nashville. You're 18 years old or 19 years old. But it was true, we really did fall in love, and now my parents adore him, of course, and we have three kids together. It's kind of crazy. It's taken several years for them to get and, there. And I've yeah. caught up to him in age, so it's all good now. Yeah. <laughs> now we're even. Or now we're even. <laughs> Renovating and flipping homes is a gamble, but then again, you both come from a music background, so you know all about flying to the seat of your pants, taking risks, gambling, and you know, striving for success. Mm -hmm. It's practically the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> no doubt. It really is. <laughs> What is it you get out of uh, uh, out of flipping homes and renovating homes and, and being on TV and taking these gambles? We started flipping homes to supplement our income, and we were doing it very slowly and, and carefully. And we realized with music, it was we needed to change, but we wanted to do something creative. So we slowly just did less music, more home renovations, and. It eventually turned into a real business. And we, music's always fed our soul. We love music. But at some point, it became a little less fun. Our kids got older. It was harder to leave them. You know, they were going to hockey practices, things that we wanted to be at mm -hmm. and be present for. And we couldn't just go off for a week and do a bunch of shows in little bars. It just wasn't, it's not conducive to having children. So we just, like you said, we started flipping more houses. And it is a creative process still. So I'm not, I mean, it's not the same process. I'm kind of joking in that. But it is creative. So that you. sort of. And it pays us, yeah. yes. <laughs> My vote is the brick house, boarded up brick. It has the most profit. Done. The boarded up brick number was my favorite in the beginning. Really? Mm -hmm. Then why did you make me dance like a bear through these two to get to this one? Manipulation at its finest. Reverse psychology. Hmm. I'll write the offer up. You can start dinner though, right? So you're both famous now, you're a household name. How does it feel when you know people recognize you and see you now as celebrities? It's crazy, it's, it's still an odd feeling for us because um, we've, we've never had that, really. Yeah, um, you know, I think it's good. I think everybody's so respectful, especially living in Nashville, so respectful of our family. And more often, like we, we just came back on a Disney, from a Disney cruise and you know, there were definitely people that came up to us, but we would get, I would be at the, in my room at night seeing on social media, hey, I saw you at the pool today, I didn't want to say hi, just want to let you know that <laughs> we really love your show. I'm like, so they're very respectful, but we like when people come up to us and say, hey, you know, how did you do that? Or what do you think of this? We love that. We love the interaction. That's why we're doing the show. Mm -hmm. So. And the best part for me now is. That everybody the, agrees with me? Yeah, no, they, I don't think they do actually. <laughs> but they, it's a different fan that 
I know a lot of them are still country music fans, but when we would get noticed, we came up to Toronto and, and someone would say, you know, oh, I love that song. Now we get fans coming and going, I love your show. I'm going to do Tile in My Bathroom. <laughs> what do you think? Do you think Courtney would do a penny stone? And <laughs> like I've actually... been to their bathroom. Oh, what? Tile. Keep it simple. Different price point. We can do that. It'll feel very timeless and clean. Timeless, and... clean, classic, beautiful, yeah. earthy, romantic. I love it. Did I cover it all? <laughs> you did. Okay. Go to town, lady. Okay. I'm counting on you. I'm excited.